Hello, Matt here again uh, from NoLongerTired.com and uh, I hope you enjoyed the last, shall we say, a bit scary video on digestion traumas and I hope you were not too disturbed. Uh, well, today we're going to look at some more of those uh, irritations, leaky gut syndrome, together with other external toxins uh, to see how they make you feel tired. So sit down, grab a drink and try and catch the essence of this. Okay. We are surrounded by pollutants and chemicals uh, more than ever. Uh, you will know this more so if you live in a, in a town centre or near a major road or if you work with chemicals for instance. However, uh, we have them all around in our food chain through pesticides, antibiotics, hormones and as we touched yesterday our over processed foods are not helping us let go of these toxins easily. Uh, an example we have uh, is within our skin and hair products, all loaded with chemicals. It's impossible for us to get away from these things these days. Um, in intestinal problems yesterday are only one part of the jigsaw. You need to get a grip on both digestion and liver if you want to get an idea of how to get your energy back truly and gain some vitality back. First of all, we're going to look at the uh, detoxifying friend, the liver. Uh, well, in short, simple terms, from a detoxifying perspective, the liver, well, it firstly, firstly filters the blood from your intestines, including waste and toxins we don't need. The liver contains kupfer cells, which break down and process the nasty stuff. Secondly, the liver produces a liter of bile a day stored in the gallbladder, as well as metabolizing fats, bile serves as a carrier, taking the toxins away from the liver to the gallbladder. From there, the toxic load is then dumped into the intestines where it's absorbed by fiber and excreted out of the way. Yeehaw! All gone. So for this to happen effectively, we need two things to happen. Number one is adequate bile production. By the way, gallstones and alcohol restrict the bile flow. That's calistasis. And this can cause toxins to stay in the liver longer. Number two, we need adequate fiber in our diet. Unfortunately, we often have highly refined diets with little fiber. Consequently, movement along the colon is therefore slow, and bile is at the risk of being reabsorbed into the bloodstream. What happens there is toxins get recalculated into the liver again. Yes, that's processing twice, placing an enormous strain on the liver's capacity. This can ultimately compromise your other organs. With complications in the colon, poor elimination, candida, toxic mold, leaky gut, leaky gut even, not surprisingly the body can soon become toxic. Just a little quote from the Pure Body Institute puts it all into perspective. For many, the liver was overwhelmed by age 10. To fully comprehend the task your liver is dealing with right now, imagine you are a gardener, a chemist, a sanitation worker, a housekeeper, a soldier on duty, a warehouse, forklift operator, a grocery store clerk, all at the same time. Now imagine you are five months, that's five months, behind your work. Let me imagine why this is all dangerous long term and also making you very tired. The best way your body can cleanse away everyday toxins in the diet and environment is through around about 100 enzymes in the liver which metabolize toxins from the intestines. This goal is to make the toxins water soluble for immediate excretion. Okay. However, very often lifestyles, imbalances, intolerances and blockages are not only forced in second filtration by the liver because the bad stuff may be re-entering the bloodstream, but also requiring from us more minerals, amino acids and enzymes to produce a new toxic compound which to become soluble, okay? putting even more strain on the body. Not only that, sorry, more, new, more bad news folks, this new altered immediate toxic state is more harmful to the liver cells than the original toxins. And also, this oxidation process creates large quantities of free radicals. Yes, this is the stuff that ages us and has been linked to disease and cancer. In fact, all detoxification products try and remove 
free radicals in some way, shape or form. However, if we understand why they occur in the first place, then we are doubly equipped, right? Excellent. So, as said in the last video, if we have a healthy eliminating gut, now nutritionists would advise one elimination every day by the way, we then help the other organs work correctly. Where body resources are not stolen from other functions in the, in the body to digest and process. Okay, hopefully this is starting to make sense now, I hope so. Okay, so the whole point of this video is to see why it relates uh, to tiredness. So let's see. Now there are three main reasons in regards to the liver and tiredness. If the liver is not detoxifying enough, the buildup of toxins from the colon and the bloodstream causes sluggishness. Okay, the liver metabolizes uh, carbohydrates and coordinates glucose in our cells. If it's behind schedule because of our demands, this allocation of energy simply becomes slow. The liver absorbs nutrients from the small intestine as we have seen. If there are various blockages and things like parasites and molds, they simply rob us of those nutrients. Being robbed, undernourished and sometimes cut off, we become nutrient deficient. Hence, tiredness. Capiche? Good. There is light at the end of the proverbial tunnel, trust me. Many health practitioners and people historically recommend a gentle detox program to help remove these toxins. However, sometimes a sauna, filter, more filtered water and exfoliation can help too, as well as probiotics and some say digestive enzymes to assist the breakdown. Most importantly, you need to take your fatigue and health seriously and, and see it as a wake-up call to, and a sign to take real action about your vitality and your colon. Please eat a less refined processed diet, more natural fruit and vegetables, more probiotics if you can. Get exercise even if it's a little at first. Eat more quality protein and fibre. Please be warned, this is a process. So we'll take a little amount of time. Be patient. Rome wasn't built in a day. And remember, your liver and body has probably been overworked and below full potential for all the reasons we've seen in this and other videos. I hope you are now more informed about being tired and how this relates to your liver and general toxicity levels. So I'll catch you next time. Bye for now and be well.